Hi, I'm George from 3 Mini Design and in this video we're going to talk about Adobe products. But before we get started, if you want to improve as a graphic designer, please subscribe. I'm doing weekly videos about graphic design and related so you can get better at this game. Get it? Over the years, Adobe has expanded so much that now has a broad array of products. At the first glance, it may look very similar, but it's better to know what each product is specialized for, so you will improve your workflow and quality. Let's start. And we're gonna start with Adobe Photoshop. It is best suited for photo editing and photo manipulation, but it can also be used for printing materials, digital painting, or basic animation. It has a few phone apps like Photoshop Express, Mix, Fix, and sketch and also a stripped down version called Photoshop Elements. Adobe Lightroom, it's a primary photo editing software and it's also a photo organizer. You can also find Adobe Lightroom Classic that is mostly the same as the before mentioned. The biggest difference is that the Lightroom Classic will make and store everything locally where Lightroom will do it on the cloud. And also not to forget about the Adobe Lightroom app for mobile phones. Adobe Illustrator and the mobile Adobe Illustrator Draw is a vector-based software that it's used to create illustrations, logos, icons and other branding materials. You can also use it to create flyers and brochures but it's better to use Adobe InDesign. Also a vector software it's used to create projects with many many pages and a ton of text like brochures, magazine, newspapers or books. And if you are a publishing house or a newspaper you can use Adobe InCopy as it allows more people to work on the same file like a newspaper where you have more than one editor and one designer. Adobe XD is a software specialized in user interface and user experience used to create web apps and mobile apps. Very cool as it has tons of useful tools to fit the purpose. And like many others, there is a mobile app counterpart. Adobe Dimension is a 3D modeling software that allows you to add 3D models and graphics into a real image to create photo-like mockups. Very useful in making product packaging or prototypes. Adobe Fresco is specially created for digital painting and digital drawing, features that artists used to do in Photoshop and Illustrator. Adobe Dreamweaver is the web design software that you can use to make websites even if you don't know nothing about coding, but has a powerful code editor that supports many coding languages like Java or HTML. Adobe Acrobat DC Pro is used to create and manage PDF files, allowing you to add fill forms, photos, radio buttons or drop down menus. Adobe Bridge is not a design product but a very helpful tool. Tool, a media manager that allows you to browse, organize and see other files without opening it. Add here Adobe Comp app that it used to make mockups and layouts for web and print. Adobe Capture, very useful for color picking from your mobile camera or image tracing. All the mobile apps mentioned you can download from your App Store or the Play Store. And all the desktop software mentioned until now plus some others used for animation, 3D modeling or video editing are part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. But these are not the only Adobe products related with design. You can also find Adobe Stock. It's a marketplace where you can buy images, photos, videos and 3D models. Adobe Typekit is a phone library and shop. Adobe Color is created to inspire you for color combination. If you need simple graphics, you can use Adobe Spark or use it on your phone, Adobe Spark Post, to make simple social media posts or simple graphics. Also online you can find Adobe called Fusion used to make web apps. After you finish your design you can post it on Behance. It's a social media platform for Adobe creators or you can make your own website using Adobe Portfolio. If you like this video and find it useful please like it, share and subscribe. See you soon. Bye!